Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, the officers, and drill instructors of 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, I would like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony of Company K. This morning's ceremony will begin with calling the company to attention. At this time, the guests are requested to remain seated. Spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Alicio Morales, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. This will be followed by our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Mighty One, we thank you for your presence here today. We thank you for the young men of Kilo Company who came in as recruits and are leaving as Marines. Through their hard work and perseverance, they now join the family and ranks of the finest fighting force on Earth. Within each and every one of them runs a war fighting spirit of a Marine that never gives up, no matter the odds. We thank you for their friends and family who provided support through thoughts, prayers, and letters of encouragement. May they rejoice in this great celebration. We thank you for these drill instructors, for they have made Marines. Through their leadership, discipline, and sacrifice, they have instilled the honor, courage, and commitment that is woven into the very fabric of this Corps. It is because of these drill instructors that these new Marines can now live out the great honor traditions to always be faithful, first to fight, and most ready when the nation is least ready. Mighty One, we thank you for your presence once again. And as always, we ask that you continue to bless this Corps and country, now and always. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Men who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to Corps and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the battalion commander for 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Christopher A. Ashenhurst. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, distinguished guests. On behalf of the Commanding General of the Marine Corps Recruit Depot of San Diego and the Western Recruiting Region, Brigadier General Morris, as well as the commanding officer of the recruit training regiment, Colonel Jones. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for Company K. It is also my distinct pleasure to introduce our guest of honor, Lieutenant General Mahoney, whose impressive biography you will hear shortly. General, it is an honor to have you with us today. Now, I'd like to take a few moments 
moments to talk about why I am so proud of the young men you've come to see graduate. But first, let me draw your attention to those impressive Marines wearing those distinctive green campaign colors. They certainly do not need introduction from me, for we all know them as a legendary Marine Corps drone instructor. From the moment our crew arrives aboard the depot, there is a drone instructor with them, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, everywhere they go. For it is the drill instructor that is the heartbeat of what it takes to transform a civilian into a United States Marine. Of the thousands of people we will meet throughout our lives, let's be honest, most of them we will forget. But no Marine anywhere will ever forget the name, the face, or the gentle, loving voice. <laughs> also, seated over here are the families of the officers and drill instructors of Kilo Company. These families know firsthand the time, dedication, and sacrifice it takes to make Marines, and we could not do it without their love and support. So if you would all, please join me in a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. We also know that making Marines is a team effort, and it all begins with the hardworking Marine Corps recruiters who are spread throughout this great country. Today, Marine Corps Recruiting Command is represented by Staff Sergeant Brown a recruiting substation in Fort Collins, Colorado. Staff Sergeant Brown was the recruiter for our company honor graduate, Lance Double Brown. It was Staff Sergeant Brown who first gave Lance Double Brown the opportunity to earn the title Marine. Outstanding job, Staff Sergeant Brown. <laughs> now we turn my attention back to the remarkable young men seated here in front of me. They are truly some of the best this country has to offer. When they arrived here, they were young and fit, 18 years old on average, and already in better shape than most people that age. Every single one of them is a high school graduate. But furthermore, they displayed courage and a commitment that most of their peers could never muster when they raised their right hand and swore that solemn oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. They come from every expanse of the globe, in this case, seven different countries. Some are from as far away as Vietnam and Thailand. Others are from just across the street here in San Diego. But it was a single goal that brought the 460 of them together, and that goal was to earn the title Marine. Three months ago, they embarked on the world's most demanding entry-level training when they got off those buses and stepped foot into our historic yellow footprints. And trust me, throughout their time here, they have undoubtedly been tested. They have been trained and evaluated in the attributes that make the Corps both unique and deadly. We have developed in each of them a physical and mental toughness that will never quit or give up despite the odds. They've been indoctrinated in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment so that we create Marines of exemplary character both at peace and at war. They've been trained in battlefield tested war fighting skills so that when this nation calls, its Marines always win. And thanks to the marksmanship instructors at Weapons Field Training Battalion up in Camp Pendleton, when these Marines arrive on their objective, they are capable of delivering precision rifle fire at a pinpoint target at staggering distances out to 500 yards. And finally, we created small unit leaders out of each of them, and we evaluated their ability to decide, act, and communicate with a bias for intelligent action, for that is what the future operating environment will be. Now, in addition to all of that, I hope Yesterday, you noticed a few other upgrades we installed. They should have stood a little taller. They certainly look a little leaner. They should have looked you in the eyes and said these strange phrases like, yes sir, yes ma'am. Moms and dads, it should be a long time before you have to tell one of these Marines to get a job or a haircut, and I assure you, they know how to clean up after themselves and make their beds. <laughs> But it is the change within that we are the most proud of. For after having been indoctrinated in our core values, and then by virtue of the fact that they're sitting here today means that they've embraced those values as their own. And so it is because of this journey they have made, because of the physical, mental, and moral development they've displayed, which was built upon the foundation that you all laid, that I am proud to present 460 young men who through their own blood, sweat, and tears can now and forever claim the title, United States Marine. Now, 
if you'll excuse me for a moment while I address our new Marines one last time. Good morning, Marines. Good morning, sir. Did you all hear that? Pure pride. That is pride in themselves and pride in the title that they heard. Now, Kilo Company, I know when you arrived here so many weeks ago, the last thing on your mind is graduation. You're probably thinking, what in the world have I gotten myself into? And how do I get them to stop yelling at me? But you stay here today as America's newest Marines, having accomplished something that most would never dare attempt. And when you get home this weekend, people are going to look up to you. They're going to be proud of you, as they should. And your friends are going to ask you how you did. When they ask you that, I want you to take them for a walk down to your recruiting station. And then you them to your recruiters. Because I can promise you, your drill instructors would love to meet your friends. But remember that with this new title comes a great responsibility. For the strength of the Marine Corps is not found in a weapon system or piece of equipment. It is found in the warfighting spirit of the individual Marine. That is what matters most in combat, and that is what makes us different. This world is a dangerous and chaotic place, but that is why we have you. And the legacy of our Corps, not only being the first to fight, but to always win, belongs to you now for safety. And that evil world anchor that we handed you on top of the Reaper represents 246 years of all of the Marines that have gone before. So be proud of yourself. Be proud of what you have accomplished. But remember who you now are and who you now represent. And always remember to protect what you learn. And so on behalf of the officers, the drill instructors, and all of the support personnel here aboard Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, let me be the first to wish you. Fair winds, following seas. Semper Fi Dallas Marines, welcome to our Corps. Now taking his position center stage is today's guest of honor, Lieutenant General Christopher Mahoney, Deputy Commandant, Programs and Resources. <laughs> Lieutenant General Christopher Mahoney, Deputy Commandant, Programs and Resources. Lieutenant General Mahoney was born in South Weymouth, Massachusetts and graduated from Holy Cross in June 1987. He completed the basic school and the infantry officer's course at Quantico, Virginia, graduating in March 1988. He went on to complete flight training in Pensacola, Florida, and was designated Naval Aviator. Lieutenant General Mahoney has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include Instructor at Marine Aviation and Tactics Squadron 1, Yuma, Arizona. Chief of Staff at Joint IED Defeat Organization, National Training Center, Fort Irwin, California. Executive Assistant to the Deputy Commandant at Programs and Resources Headquarters Marine Corps. Deputy Commander at Marine Forces Pacific. Director of Strategy and Plans at Headquarters Marine Corps. Deputy Commander at United States Forces Japan. And Commanding General at 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing. Lieutenant General Mahoney currently serves as the Deputy Commandant for Programs and Resources Headquarters Marine Corps. Lieutenant General Mahoney is a graduate of the Weapons and Tactics Instructor Course, WTI, the Marine Division Tactics Course, MDTC, and the Naval Fighter Weapons School, Top Gun. He is a qualified forward air controller and parachutist. Lieutenant General Mahoney has over 5,000 hours of flight time in the A6, F5, F18, and F35. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lieutenant General Christopher Mahoney. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidons. The guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons, which identify the unit and are a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who displayed outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and enthusiasm and were selected as the platoon honor graduates. Thank you. 
The honor graduates are recognized as being the most outstanding Marines in their platoons. The platoon honor graduates compete for the titles of series and company honor graduate. They're considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. The honor graduates will now be presented a plaque by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Ashenhurst, and the battalion Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Cruz. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. The honor graduate for platoon 3225 is Private First Class Alex G. Barajas from Heber City, Utah. The honor graduate for platoon 3226 and the company honor graduate is Lance Corporal T.C. Browning from Fort Collins, Colorado. Lance Corporal Browning is also the recipient of the Chesty Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. And the honor graduate for platoon 3227 is Private First Class Nicholas A. Sapon from Redding, California. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company K. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of Anchors Away, followed by the Marines hymn. The senior drill instructors will now dismiss their platoons. This will be the last command the new Marines receive from their drill instructors and the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony.